swelling or lymphedema in the arm or in the chest wall can happen after someone's had surgery to remove lymph nodes or radiation to that chest wall or that armpit area. My name is Kelly, I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema as well as oncology. On my channel, I do a lot of different videos on lymphatic drainage massage for various parts of the body. I have created videos for chest swelling, for right arm swelling, for left arm swelling, as well as head and neck swelling. But today in this video, we're going to go through a full routine for someone who may have swelling or lymphedema in both arms or in their chest, or they may be at risk because they've had surgery or treatment to both sides or both armpit areas. If someone's looking for more resources regarding lymphedema or oncology, be sure to subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also check out my website and my newsletter for more resources, and you can follow along with us on Instagram for more related content. But other than that, we're going to get started. So before we get started, always make sure that you check with your doctor or your certified lymphedema therapist for more personalized guidance because everyone's going to have his, her, or their own needs. I'm going to be doing this video standing up. I do like the aspect of gravity playing a role, but someone can be doing this sitting. They can also doing it laying down, whatever works for someone. And now if someone wants a handout or a diagram to follow along with at home outside of this video, I have created one on my website with a diagram of direction to do the lymphatic drainage massage in as well as step-by-step -step, um, directions to follow along with and you can check that out and I'll put a direct link for that down below in the description box. But other than that, we're going to get going. So the first thing we want to do is we want to stimulate the lymph nodes in that upper body. So we're going to start with the abdomen area. You have a lot of deep lymph nodes in your abdomen and in your trunk, and they help move a lot of the fluid in the body. And so we're going to take our hands, put them gently on the abdomen, and I'm going to gently push inwards. And from there, we're going to take a nice big belly breath. And so we want to take a big breath in, feeling the belly expand out to the, into the hands but give some resistance. So breath in and then out and gently press in. We're going to move over a little to the other side. We're going to take a big breath in and out and move down lower abdomen, breath in and out and then one more breath in and out. Good. Now we're going to stimulate lymph nodes in other areas of the body. And so we have head and neck lymph nodes that are right above the collarbone or the clavicle and then right on the sides of the neck below the ear. And they can also help with fluid up in this region. So we're going to take as much surface area from our hand as possible, put it directly right above the collarbone, right at the base of the neck. And we're going to just do gentle circles, about eight to 10 of them in either direction and we're going to just keep it nice and gentle. You don't have to press hard because the lymphatic nodes and lymphatic vessels are right under the skin. And after that, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, hand right above the collarbone or clavicle, doing eight to 10 circles there. And then after we've done that, we're going to go a little bit up the neck. So I'm going to work right below the ears on the side of the neck. What I like to do is to use my hand, split my fingers into two, put my hand right below my ear, and then fingers on either side of my ear. And then we're going to do circles right in that region. Same thing, eight to 10 times. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So on either side of the ear, with the hand right below on the side of the neck, eight to 10 of those. And after we've done that, then we wanna stimulate the lymph nodes in the armpit areas. And so we're gonna take our whole hand, put it directly in the armpit, and we're gonna do circles there. And it does not matter which one comes first, if we're working on both sides. And after we've done eight to 10 circles, in the armpit, nice and gentle. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, you don't have to press really hard. And then the last area we want to stimulate for lymph nodes is our, the lymph nodes in the groin, so right in the front of the hips. 
And so they're right about where the sitting crease is. So if we were to bend the hip right where that crease is where you sit, that's about where you wanna place your hands on either side. And we're gonna just do gentle circles, eight to 10, right in that area. It is always best if someone can do this directly on the skin, if they have access to do that. So now that we've stimulated all the lymph nodes throughout the body, we're going to start with the lymphatic drainage piece. And so with the lymphatic system, if we were to draw a line down the middle of the body and then across at the belly button, that makes four quadrants. All of the fluid or all the lymphatic vessels in one quadrant in the upper body go towards that armpit. And so we're going to think about directing everything into that same direction. Now, if someone were just to have lymph nodes taken or they have swelling on one side, we always wanna to try to go away from that side, which I show in the other videos. But if we have issues on both sides, then we don't want to push to the other side. We're just gonna stay on each side. All of the fluid in this area, we're gonna to try to actually go down to the groin lymph nodes if those are healthy. And so we wanna start with the area that's closest to the heart. So we're gonna start with this trunk or chest wall. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start on the side right below the armpit, and then we're gonna work down the side towards kind of that groin area, right where those lymph nodes are. Again, best directly on the skin if able, but we're gonna do five times or so, a little more if someone needs to, down the side. And then from there, we're gonna work in through the abdomen and chest. So above the belly button, what we're gonna try to do is work out to the side towards that direction or the side vessels. Someone can spend as little or as much time as someone needs in a certain area, depending on where the swelling is. And then we're gonna work a little bit higher on the low chest, working outwards. And then middle. And then we're gonna do up top. And I'm trying to be really gentle because I know the microphone's right there, but it's just more of a light skin stretch as you guide fluid outwards. And then from there, I'm gonna work downwards again. Just try to get everything moving. So now if someone were able to reach or they have help to do the back, you'd still think about the middle of the back and everything from the right works out towards the side. So starting in the middle, working out towards the side, that would be the direction to still go from the back. Now a lot of people can't reach on their own, so that's really more if someone has assistance. But as you move everything to the side over here, then you'd work it all back and down towards those lymph nodes in the groin, doing a five to eight more strokes downwards to make sure that we're clearing all the fluid out of there. So once we've done that whole chest area, spending as much time as someone needs, then we're gonna go to the arm. And so we still have to guide all the fluid up and out of the arm. So we're gonna start at the top. If we start at the fingers, this area is gonna get clogged and backed up. And so we wanna start by clearing the area first from the top. And so on the shoulder, it's kind of up and over, up and around. You're still guiding towards the lymph node area. And then we'll think of the arm in sections. So upper arm, lower arm, hand and fingers. And I'm gonna start with the upper arm and guide everything up. You can have that arm up supported to help with the gravity piece, but I'll do three to five strokes on the, each side of the arm. So working in the front. And then we'll work on the inside. And then we'll also make sure that we work in the back of the arm. Again, stopping for any area that someone has a little bit more swelling and spending a little bit more time there. So after we've done all four sides, then I'll stop and around the elbow and kind of work around kind of that bony part of the elbow with my fingers. 
And then also we do have some small lymph nodes right on that inner elbow crease. And so I'm gonna put my hand right on that area and we're just gonna do gentle circles. Can do about five to 10. And then we're gonna move on to the lower arm. And so we wanna think of that lower arm in four sections as well, or if you have a thinner arm, you can probably wrap around to do a couple at a time, but you're just going to guide the fluid from the wrist towards the elbow. A few times in each area. And then we'll do one more on the back. And then after we've done the wrist to the elbow as much as we need, we're gonna move on to the hand. So we're on the back of the hand. You can use your whole hand, guiding that fluid down towards the wrist. And then if you have tendons that like to be more prominent, you can even use your fingertips and get in between those tendons. Some people will just have swelling in their hand to the wrist, so I spend a lot more time doing this. But again, everything will be personalized with help from a therapist. From there, we'll go into the fingers. You can do all fingers at the same time, especially if you don't have much swelling there. Or if you, want, if you have more time or you do have swelling, you can spend time with each finger individually. And you wanna make sure that you're kind of guiding on the sides of the fingers too, because there are little vessels on the sides of the fingers. Each one a few times. And then once we've gone all the way down the arm, we're actually going to reverse that direction. We've spent all the time clearing each section, and now we wanna go ahead and move the rest of the fluid up. And so we're going back to the hand. And then we're gonna go on to the wrist to the elbow. And I'm just gonna speed up a little. You still take as much time as you need. And then outside. And then we'll make sure we get around that elbow again. You can get on the inside of the elbow. And then we'll work our way up into the upper arm. Making sure that we get all sides of the arm. And then once we've made it all the way back up, we're just gonna finish with the shoulder up and over, or if you're in the back, kind of down and back. And now we've made and pushed all this fluid up to this area, but we don't want it to sit there again. And so we're just gonna finish around the armpit, working all of that fluid that we just moved to around the armpit back down the side of the body towards those healthier lymph nodes around the groin region. We'll do about five or so there, or as much as someone would like. And then we're done with that side and we're gonna go and do the same thing on the other side. And so this will be a good review. And so we want to start on the side of the body to clear this area, because this is where we're gonna move a lot of fluid to. So down the side from the armpit, kind of towards that hip. You wanna at least cross that belly button level so it gets into the next quadrant or the next system. And then from there, again, remember the line down the middle, kind of above the belly button, we're gonna actually work out towards the side. We're thinking of that this is that channel. We wanna to try to push all this fluid into that channel to then move down. Working a little higher.
And then same thing across the chest, working as much time in a certain area that might be swollen. If someone has more dense tissue or a bit radiated tissue, you might have to spend more time there. And then you'll work across below that collarbone. And then I'm gonna finish from the armpit back down. And then again, if someone has help or can reach the back, it's working from the middle out towards the side. And so um, again, it would start at the middle of the back and try to just guide everything to right below the armpit and kind of out and down and doing the same thing, then spending some time working this there. You don't go straight down the back, you still work out towards the side and then down. So from there, if we've done the trunk and the chest area, we're gonna go back to the arm, but same thing, we're gonna start at the top. And so working up, in the shoulder area. And then we're gonna work in the upper arm, doing all four sides, three to five times or more if needed. And then I'm gonna work on the inside. And then we'll make sure that we get the back of the arm. And then after we've done all four sides, three to five times or so, we're gonna work around the elbow, making sure we're getting around that bony part of the elbow. And then we'll also work in the front. Remember there's lymph nodes right there, so we're gonna stop and do a couple circles. I'm still kind of trying to guide that fluid upwards, but also stimulating the lymph nodes. And after we've stimulated those lymph nodes, then we're going to work from the wrist to the elbow. So guiding as much surface area with your hand as possible, guiding that fluid down. Other side, router on the forearm. And then once we've done all sides of that forearm area, or lower arm, then we're gonna work into the back of the hand. So again, full hand, just guiding towards the wrist and towards that upper arm. And you can also use your fingers and get in between those tendons around those knuckles, trying to guide the fluid that's stuck in those spaces out of that area. And then after we're done hand, we're gonna go to the fingers. So either whole fingers doing all at the same time. You'll still have to do the thumb separately, or you can do each finger individually. Again, trying to make sure that we're also working on the sides of the fingers where the little vessels are. And you can imagine what is coming next. We've made our way all the way down. We're going to finish and reverse it. So back of the hand. And then we're gonna go back to the wrist of the forearm, doing that forearm region. Working all the way towards the elbow. All sides, or spending more time in an area that you need. And you don't have to push hard, you're just doing more of a skin stretch and relax and kind of guiding that fluid from there. I'm gonna go back around the elbow. And I'm gonna work on the front the elbow crease. And then we're gonna work in the upper arm from the elbow towards the shoulder. And then doing the 
back side. And then the inside. And then after we've done the upper arm, we're gonna finish at the shoulder when it comes to the arm. So up, kind of guiding up and over, up and front. If you're in the back, you're kind of down and back. Whatever you can reach, unless you have some help. And then remember, we just moved all this fluid up towards the lymph nodes here, but if there is less lymph nodes or they're damaged, we wanna make sure we're getting the fluid out of that area. So we're gonna finish down the side of the body from the armpit down towards that groin or the side of the hip. Doing five times, eight times, whatever you'd like. Again, directly on the skin if you can. And then once we've done that, we've really finished with most of the lymphatic drainage. All we're gonna do is go back to our belly breaths to help to finish stimulating that. So put our hand on the abdomen. I'm gonna start with the upper corner. Gently press in, take a nice big deep breath. Feel your belly expand into your hand. And then breath out. Move on over to the other side and breath in. And out. I'm gonna move down to the lower quadrant, breath in and out. And one more time, breath in and out. And that's it. So that is a full step-by-step -step routine for doing lymphatic drainage massage to both arms and both chest for upper body swelling or lymphedema. Again, if you want to see other videos for other lymphatic drainage or other ways to manage swelling and lymphedema, be sure to subscribe down below and check out the rest of my channel. You can also check out the website and Instagram as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.